Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the River Cities Fieldhouse here in Marinette, Wisconsin. My name is Eric Hero, and I am joined to my right, as always, by one of the voices of professional wrestling over the last two decades here in the Wisconsin scene, Jamie the Weasel Kennedy. Weasel, how you doing tonight? Well, thank you. Thank you for making me feel old, too. Well, we're all old here in UTL, but we're going to see somebody here who's not quite so old, and that would be the famous, the one from Hotlanta, Wisconsin. This would be the gorgeous one. Well, I don't know if he's still gorgeous or formerly gorgeous. This is Jordy Lee. Now, we, we so go ahead and drop in on we on what we got going on with Jordy Lee here today. Well, Jordy said that, you know, he's, he's the most gorgeous person he knows. Well, uh, obviously, I mean... Wisconsin. This is Marinette, Wisconsin, which this is just a little too close to Michigan. I see a lot of Michigan trash out here. I'm officially accepting, shut up! I'm officially accepting your early, early terms of concession. Go back to Michigan. We will miss you. Thank you. Oh. Well, strong words there from the gorgeous one, Mr. Jordy Lee. Obviously, no love for, uh, we're seven miles from the border here. And you can hear some of the higher love people here. Uh, they're, they're, uh... Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, weighing in at 203 pounds, from Green Bay, Wisconsin, the marvelous Ethan Matthews! Well, you heard it there from the lips of Jumbo J. You've got the... You've got the marvelous one. You've got Ethan Matthews coming to us right from the Bay Area, just 45 miles down the road in Green Bay, Wisconsin. This is Ethan Matthews. And I'll tell you, Weasel, if you have not gotten to see Mr. Matthews wrestle, you are in for a treat. Oh, absolutely. This uh, opener is going to be a barn burner. But also, what failed to mention is Ethan Matthews, number one contender for that Lights Out title right now. He is indeed. Ethan Matthews has been working his way up the uh, card right now. He's been working his way up the rankings of UTL. And uh, yeah, it, obviously, you can, you people will see here in just a few moments as to why Ethan Matthews is the number one contender for the Lights Out title. Looks like Jordy's not real interested in getting in the ring right now, Weasel. Well, Jordy, you know, he's going to work on his time. He is going to work on his time, and you, you'll see the difference between... Whoa, jeez. Jordy is just... He, he is not having it tonight, but uh, he's uh, you, you'll see that Jordy is more of the brawler style. He's a bigger wrestler. He is harder to move. Ethan Matthews. Ethan Matthews is lightning in a bottle. This guy will move around the ring. He is felt. He is lean, and he is quick. He, he's missing his friend, though, tonight. He's missing his friend? Yeah. Brock? Oh, yeah. Mr. Hall is not here, but uh, our referee tonight doing a great job checking the wrestlers for foreign objects. That's an absolute thing you need to do with Jordy Lee. Um, not saying that Jordy Lee is, you know, oh, well, he's, he's giving him the leg. All right. And, uh, okay, yeah, checking him out. All right, looks like Jordy is clean. Well, what would you have at the bottom of your boot? Well, I mean, you could have a loaded boot. I suppose. I mean, you, if anybody... Sheiky did that, Iron Sheik. Sheiky Baby did that, absolutely. He stomped and he loaded that boot up and it took opponents down. So, yeah, you want to tap the bottom of that boot to make sure that that is a flat surface, that it is not a spike surface, it's not a cleated surface, because the, the, the sole of the boot is legitimate in professional wrestling to strike somebody with. If that is not flat, though, however, the referee will send the wrestler back to the locker room to change, which, you know, is going to be... Uh, I have of, never seen that in 20-some years. <laughs> I haven't either. I haven't either, but it is an old-school thing. Oh, well, there's uh, a oh. kick to the gut. Kick to the gut, boot to the side of the head. Jordy Lee takes the early advantage. Side headlock applied. If Jordy can keep his concentration on the matter of, at hand, it's going to be good. But he gets distracted too easily. Ethan, Ethan takes a few shots to the gut, tries to shoot him off the ropes, cannot do it. Jordy has applied that headlock. Looks like he's got a nice S grip going on there, right over the eyes too, so... Ethan is really struggling right now, but like this is what I had mentioned before, that Jordy Lee is the bigger wrestler. He is the immovable object, but Ethan is firing back up. Oh, oh right in the posterior. My God, shoots him off the ropes. Irish whip, here comes back. Shoulder block, down goes Matthews. Last time he had that happen to his mama did it to him. He's coming off the ropes, and... 
drop toe hold. Down goes Lee. Down goes Lee. He's got oh, look him. at look at that though. Oh, look at this a semi surfboard. He's got him there. He could roll him over. And this is some great mat wrestling here from the marvelous one, Ethan Matthews. Picking a body part. Looking, he's trying to. Is he trying? Oh yeah, he's doing a little bow and arrow stretch here. He's gonna stretch out those abdominals of Jordy Lee. You might not know that they're there. They're under a lot of padding, but I'm telling you, Jordy. Ow! But Jordy. also the small of the back. That really kills the small of the back. Absolutely. And yeah, when you if you don't have those core muscles, it's oh jeez. It is hard to breathe, it is hard to move, and it is hard to generate the power you're gonna need to throw your opponent. Little fake into the face, down low goes Matthews. Matthews comes in, stinger splash, forearm comes in, hooks him. He's Looking got for the him. Bulldog now. Absolutely, Bulldog position here. He comes and Jordy tosses him off. Matthews hits the mat hard. And then a little kick in the back to add insult to injury. Absolutely, Jordy's trying to keep his opponent down. It's not a bad strategy. Oh, shots right to the head. Ref should definitely check to see if those hands are closed. And he, oh, disrespect to the referee. Down goes Matthews to his posterior in the corner, fighting to get back up. Well, you know those close fists, you got to count to five. Three point stance, three point stance. In comes Jordy. Ethan gets over him. Look, oh, he's got him hooked. He's got him hooked over the rope. Almost like a tarantula. Absolutely, he's got that tarantula. He is stretching Jordy out. Ethan working the five count, and he releases the hole. Jordy Lee is in that ring, and he is the worst for wear right now. The world-famous Jords is not feeling too great. But is that smart to do? Is Ethan, that Ethan uh, says to the top rope, referee goes in. Ethan rolls through, chopped to the throat, Jordy Lee. See, was that smart to roll out of the ring and give Jordy time to breathe? Oh. It bit him in the, in the uh, posterior... Uh, the gluteus, gluteus maximus. At that place, too. I believe what's what doctors call the ass. Yeah. Not confused with daddy, but, you know. Exactly, exactly. This is, this is a fatherless ass. So he's got him hooked over the ropes. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we've talked about this before. The, the rope is a misnomer. That is steel airline cable with air tubing hooked over it to make sure you don't get cut. That is steel cable under there. That is, that is tensed so hard right now, Weasel. Well, absolutely. All right, Jordy moves him to the middle. I see you him look off at the me. Irish whip, comes in, big clothesline. Down goes Matthews again. Shoulder up, Matthews is still in this match. This match continues. He didn't hook the leg. He absolutely did not hook the leg. He got a good chest, he got a good compression across him. But uh, yeah, he could not restrict Matthews' movement enough to... Uh, well, oh, just, ow! Well, Matt that, burned right to the face, disrespect, and a step over. Well, that's not going to make him look any prettier, I'll tell you that, with those map burns on his face. Absolutely not. He took a vicious shot down in the valley at another wrestling event. He had teeth go through his lip. It was brutal. I was there live the first I saw him. And a hairball down Matthews goes to the mat. Jeez, Jordy is taking every shortcut known to man here. Well, this is Jordy. I, you sound amazed or shocked or something. This is this is his M.O. Yeah, this is his M.O. But, you know, this, at UTL here, this is a... Oh, look at that big elbow. I mean, this is the the tone setter for the show. And uh, right now, it looks like this referee's kind of lost. Now he's the hooking the leg. There you go. That's smart. There you go. Look, look at the bridge up. Matthew still has a lot, a lot of energy going in. Oh, full-on kick out. See, that's that abdominals. That's that, you know, you can snap back like a rubber band. But, but, right he, out. but Jordy's smart. Every time that he pins... It takes that more effort out of Ethan that, to kick out. You are absolutely right, Weasel. He's, he's working Matthews down. He is grinding him down to a dump. Oh, big clubber and blow to the back. Matthews eats a little more cannabis, trying to work his way <laughs> to the corner right now. Oh, and a kick to the back of the leg. Jordy, for a fun-loving guy outside of this business, is vicious inside those ropes. There's a whole different person in the ring, you know. Shoulder tackle right in the corner. He came out of there to break up the five count to get an extra shoulder in here right now. And that's, uh, boy, that, you know, it is, it is smart strategy. 
Let's he's calling his shot, Weasel. He is calling his shot. He's I, calling for a I, spear. I don't understand this. Uh, playing to the crowd is not going to get you anywhere. And case in point, thank you. A little bit of turnbuckle right to Mr. Lee's face. And shots. Shots. Jabs to the chin. Matthews, he winds it up. Flip. Flop. And fly. Bionic elbow down. Goes Lee. They heard that one all the way down in Texas. Hell yes, sir. Here he comes in. Another forearm smash right to the face of Jordy Lee. Hooks the bulldog. Now he down goes it. the big man from Hotlanta, Wisconsin. Jordy's not sure where he is. Famous sir. Down goes Jordy face first. And a kick out from How Jordy Lee. How did he Lee. manage that? It was a great offensive combination, Weasel. But you must admit that Jordy Lee has had the advantage for most of this match. Ethan's firing her up right now. He's got his second win coming in. He's got him hooked. Looks like he's going for a full Nelson. I don't know. This is where Jordy's got the strength, I think. Stomps the foot. Elbow to the rib. Here he comes in. Ducks it. Ooh. And the spear. That could be it. Not enough, not wow. quite enough. A two count there from our official. Jordy is incensed. Well, it goes back to what I was saying. You know, there's a reason why, uh, you know, he's the number one contender, you know? Yeah, I mean, you, you see the size differential between Jordy Lee and between Ethan Matthews. What you are going to get out of that a lot of times is the superior cardiovascular conditioning of Ethan Matthews. He can stay in matches longer than a big, strong guy like Jordy Lee, who maybe doesn't hit the elliptical as hard. Right. I mean, Ethan's not the number one contender just because of out of a you know pick out of the hat. He he earned that spot. Float over code breaker straight to the jaw. Hooks him. Skull crushing finale. One, two, and that's it. That is it. Your winner of this match, ladies and gentlemen, is the marvelous one, Ethan Matthews. You know, I'll tell you, Weasel, that I had mentioned it before that this is the tone setter for the show, and if this is the tone of our show, we're going to have a good night here oh, you in know Marinette, Wisconsin. I always you love coming it. to the Fieldhouse. I do, too. I, I, it's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful facility. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do live in the area, if you do come to the area, you should je definitely check out the River Cities Fieldhouse, and you should definitely check out the River Cities Pool here as well. It's a full university level facility unfortunately uw marinette has left uw green bay has left but the building's still here and is keeping it going for the community so ladies and gentlemen we're going to kick to the break right now we're going to get ready for the next match here in utl in marinette wisconsin